You killed her? Not entirely, no. Well, you obviously did something to this... This... Well, how old are you? Seventeen. Oh, my God. Where are your parents? Is she always like this? So, what then? You... Bit her? Yes. You drained her? Yes. Did you have sex with her? No! Oh, old! Jessica was brought to me as a condition of my punishment. I had to create a vampire as reparation for the one I destroyed to save you. So this is all your fault? Jessica, I need you to retire for the morning. My sleeping quarters are beneath the stairs. And you may stay there until we make other arrangements. But I'm not tired. Go! Compared to Fantasia, this blows! We can't turn her out. Not yet. She's a very young vampire. At her age, with her impulses, she could be quite dangerous. Where has she been tonight? Here with me and before that with Eric and Pam. So there's no way she could have anything to do with the woman at Merlot's with her heart missing? No. Probably not. Two weeks and you never said anything. We played in bed for hours talking about my life, your life, the weather rules of football, and not once did you mention that you slept with and killed a 17-year-old girl. Sucky, for a century and a half, I never turned a human. Because I couldn't bear to inflict the suffering I felt when I was turned. The pain of that is not an easy thing to share. If I'm with you, and she's with you, then she's with me, and I'm sure as heck sharing in that. If I withheld anything, it was only to protect you. And if she'd stayed with Eric, I still wouldn't know, would I? That's not protecting me, that's lying to me. How am I supposed to ever trust you if you keep something like that from me? What else are you keeping from me? Nothing. I can't stay. Not tonight. It's okay. I've shared every dark, horrible corner of my life with you. What made you think I couldn't handle every bit of yours? I'm a lot stronger than you think. <laughs>